Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from Ecapsec. Since we're all on lockdown, so pretty much no one can get out of the house, I decided to do a camera comparison between four of the top camera phones in the market right now. So starting from the left, I've got the iPhone 11, the Note 10 Plus, the latest and greatest from Samsung, the S20 Ultra 5G, and Huawei's P30 Pro. I know that the P40 Pro already came out, but I haven't gotten my hands on that one yet. Once I do, I'm going to be updating this camera comparison with that phone. So before I show the photos that I took with these four phones, let me give you a quick rundown of the specs of the cameras. And then I'll let you guys decide whether higher megapixel counts actually make for a better photo. The iPhone 11 has a dual camera system at the back, so it has a 12 megapixel main and a 12 megapixel ultra wide. Difference between this one and the Pro and the Pro Max is that it doesn't have a telephoto lens. So it is going to lose out when it comes to zooming. The selfie camera on this one is also 12 megapixels, so it's all 12 megapixels on the iPhone 11. Moving next to the Note 10 Plus, it has a quad camera system at the back. So the main is 12 megapixel. It has a telephoto lens that's also 12. And the ultra wide is a higher resolution at 16 megapixels. The time of flight sensor at the back right there is only 0.3 megapixels or VGA. For the selfie camera, it has a bit of a lower megapixel count coming in at only 10 megapixels. Moving on to the S20 Ultra 5G, this one also has a quad camera system at the back but its primary shooter has a whopping 108 megapixels. The telephoto lens or the periscope lens that they call it is 48 megapixels and the ultra wide is 12. The time of flight sensor is still the same old VGA one that came with the Note 10 Plus. For the selfie camera, it has the highest megapixel count among these four phones coming in at 40 megapixels. And last but not the least is the Huawei P30 Pro. It also comes with a quad camera system at the back, but in this case, the primary wide sensor is 40 megapixels. It has a telephoto or periscope lens that sits at 8 megapixels and the ultra wide comes at 20 megapixels. And of course, that time of flight sensor right there, right under the flash. For the selfie camera, it has a little bit of a lower megapixel count compared to the S20 Ultra 5G. It comes only at 32 megapixels, but still one of the higher megapixel counts among the selfie cameras between these four phones. Alright, before I go ahead and show you the camera samples, this is going to be more of a blind camera test. So I'm not going to be indicating which phone took which photo. So grab a pen and paper, I'm going to be labeling the photos A, B, C, and D, and then you guys decide which one actually took the better photo. So just to recap, I did take a couple of pictures on, in different scenarios, so using the wide, ultra-wide, telephoto, and of course the night mode. So enjoy the photos guys, and let me know which one is the best.
Alright, so those are the photos I've taken with these four phones. If you guys might have noticed I didn't take any videos, I'll probably do another in-depth video comparison once we're all out of lockdown. But I can't go out of the house guys, so better to stay home, stay safe. So let me know in the comments down below which one actually took the better picture and who won this camera comparison. Is it the iPhone 11, the Note 10 Plus, the S20 Ultra 5G, or the Huawei P30 Pro. If you guys have other phones in mind that you guys want me to do a camera comparison for, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try to arrange that for you. Until then, we'll end things here guys. A sub would be massively appreciated. As usual, like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon notification and see you all on my next one.